Hi, it's Paul with Paul's Mobile Homes. Is buying a mobile home with a minimum fixed income a good idea? I don't really think it is. A fixed income really is a liability in many ways because it really isn't fixed. Let's say you're getting $1,700 a month in Social Security, and by the way, Social Security was never designed to be your retirement. It's something else entirely. And you, you can go on the website and look it up, but your retirement being completely dependent on Social Security is likely to have some failures in it. So if you take that example of $1,700 a month on Social Security and you go buy a mobile home in which your payment for the home, your lot rent, your car, your insurance, your food, you know, your gas, electric, everything barely meets. The problem is, is that that fixed income is actually a shrinking income. Inflation is going to eat up part of that income within five years. Your $1,700 borrowing power in 2010 only buys $1,600 worth of the same stuff in 2015. So your effective income just shrank by $100. And as prices go up and your income stays the same, the same thing happens. It's harder and harder and harder to make ends meet. I would definitely recommend against trying to get into a mobile home or any kind of loan or mortgage when it's going to make things tight for you a few years down the road. Now a solution to it, if you haven't already worked out some more, an alternative income source or an additional income source is just simply make more money. Now there's a lot of ways to make more money and the good news is is that a lot of people can make money from home. There's a lot of various things that they can do. You can find out about them on the internet. Some of them are simple things. You can sell things on eBay. Even if it only makes you another three or four hundred dollars a month, that's enough to overcome what inflation is doing. So I have seen this happen to people. They try to get into something on a fixed income, like their Social Security. It might be just enough at the time, or maybe a little bit more at that time, but in a few years, it makes things difficult. So my recommendation is really look at the whole thing, right? Look at what it's gonna be like 10 years. You never know how long you're gonna live. So let's say you're over 65 and you're thinking this is how you're gonna spend your retirement, but what if you live another 30 years? That's a great thing. But your $1,700 is only worth $500, you know? So it's good to have another income. It's good to have enough to know that you can really handle it. And you know, I'm not the expert on every different way there is to make money or get income, but I do know that in planning, you have to think ahead into the future and you have to look there and you have to take the different possibilities into account. And if you do and you prepare for it, then you're not likely to have those bad emergencies that happen when you don't. So having a plan and doing something about it is always a better idea than hoping things will just somehow work out. All right, I'm Paul with Paul's Mobile Homes. Thanks for listening to me again. Have a great day.